Hello, my name's Stephen Knight and the theme of this tutorial is looking at using conditional formatting to format a row, not just an individual cell. Uh, so what, what our aim here is, is we want to format the row if the selling price is 13000 or less. So I'm going to start here on just a piece of text. So we're going to be looking over at column L here and saying is that less than or equal to 13000. When we've set up our conditional formatting we'll copy it across the table. We'll need to do a bit of tidying up after that as well just, just to tidy up our formatting. So I'm going to go up here to conditional formatting. I want to make a new rule. Now my new rule is using a formula to determine which cells to format. Now what I'm going to do here is just move this to one side, there we go, and I'm going to click on the price because that's what we're looking at. Now I need to use a partially absolute reference here, so I'm going to press the F4 function key a couple of times there, so I end up with $L2, meaning fix the reference to column L, uh, but let the row adjust. So as we copy this formatting around the, the, the table of data, uh, basically it'll look at column L in whatever row we happen to be on. Now, we need to say, look, that needs to be less than or equal to 13,000. Now best practice would be to use an absolute reference to refer to a cell somewhere that contains the 13,000 so that we can change the benchmark without actually changing the uh, without having to change our conditional formatting but just in the interest of simplicity we'll just type the value in there today. Now I'm going to set up some formatting I'd like this to be uh, blue I'd like it to be bold and I'd like my fill to be yellow so that this will stand out. Now if I go OK, now Maxwell isn't changing because my value over here is greater than 13,000. If I now make that 13,000 you can see that it changes colour and I'll just do a Control Z just to reverse that. So this is the cell that contains the formatting now I'm actually going to go over to the Format Painter, okay, which is our little paintbrush tool, Format Painter, and I'm clicking on the Format Painter and you'll notice that I've now got the paintbrush and I'm going to drag that over everything pretty much. Now you'll notice this works except we get a couple little quirks happen. It works in that we now have yellow where this value is 13,000 or less. And if I make this value now 13,001, it removes the formatting. Now, a little snag, something we just need to reapply, because we were dealing with text, so it's applied the text formatting over our dates, is I'm just going to come up here and choose a short date and just reformat that into a date. Now actually while I'm here we could use the currency and I'll make that dollars and I might also decrease the decimals, there we go. And so what we've done there is basically use our conditional formatting but apply it not just to an individual cell but to a row using a partially absolute reference and we've also tidied up our formatting afterwards and we've also seen that it's live so if we change the values if we make this uh, 15,000 and press enter then it changes the formatting and in this case removes it so that's using conditional formatting with a row my name is Stephen Knight thank you very much for your attention